the stairs, but he won't be peaked yet. Rampy knows that somebody's there as he drones it out, goes back on to watch the flank. 25 seconds as those five seconds have transpired have allowed a toxic canister to get thrown on down. And Rampy will breathe in some of that and follow in the nade. Continuing onwards, Rampy. look at this confidence. Down goes the first body from Liquid. Another will fall, yet another. The only kills coming in from PSK. He's still upright, very low on HP. Playing inside of study. Diffuser getting planted by Skies, so PSK will spray through the wall. But a desperate attempt as a Nitro Cell goes off and it gets Bosco, but not the intended target. So Skies gets the Diffuser down, and in the post plant, they try to soften up the remaining members of Liquid. PSK and Rampy on the same HP. Palu and Skies at full. Sitting on that Diffuser is Skies. And down below, Palu will go, trying to, at best as he can, get the Diffuser from below. Another from PSK, but he's shut down by Rampy. So Palu will need to return to the site. Popping out the mirror windows, Rampy will play safely inside of the safe, waiting on calls. 10 seconds is the magic number, and he spots it. An incredible first round from Rampy, and SSG starts things off with a win. Oh, 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 resets just looking longingly into Memorial, and he'll get away. Hot and Cold doesn't see him. Bosco gunned down two guns from Liquid, in fact, finding their marks, and Hot and Cold spotted by PSK. They're being overwhelmed right now as Ask gets in on it as well. Rampy a nice nade. He's been the saving grace for this team and the standout performer through this one round. Ready again over to the stairs, but he cooks it just a little bit too much. Damage is done, but Rampy knows that he needs to take these engagements. He has no idea where to go. Doesn't have the diffuser. He'll pick it up and be a sitting duck. Both these players from Liquid will rush on up, and it's an easy kill for resets to give the round to Liquid. You're going to end up with the ire of Nesk. He gets droned out and runs seeking some protection over towards 90. There's a hatch from the drop if he wants it, but not a lot of time here for Space Station. Skies will have to get in and go for the plant. PSK is trapped in between a rock and a hard place, and the rat -a tat tat of Fultz's LMG will continue to go on forward. Common spot for Skies. Only thing that can kill him is a toxic canister because there's no nitro cells still up, but of course, Ask dying early means that's not possible. The timer will continue to run in the background. 35 seconds for Ness to retake, one for resets. There's still three more bodies to go, but he's traded out. So Nesk will be spotted over by Trophy and over by Statuary. Doesn't matter where he is. Fultz started off the round. Fultz ends the round. Liquid do not succeed in the retake, and Space Station regain. More people into this gun barrel from Nesk, and Nesk is getting active now. He's playing aggressive like we spoke of earlier, trying to find those 1v1s that he's so good at winning. SSG have been unable to get the Mute Jammer off of the wall, so clear passage in the bomb site not granted. Nesk peeks the wrong way, Skies sees him, punishes him for that. Palu, last man standing from Liquid. Watching Astronomy. Three silhouettes lined up. He'll have to control the recoil, but he can't even do that. He gets smoked by Bosco. And so far, these teams have been unable to win rounds back to back. As well, this is a great step for SSG, getting aggro on both sides, but they gotta find oh. the kills, and Bosco just does that. That's Palo off the board again. Rampy down by the shotgun of Ask, trying to burst into the bomb site, but Fultz is on a tear. Three kills to his name in this round. PSK knocked Ask over Tea Kettle, and while he's up and frying, Skies is getting the diffuser down. Half HP for PSK. Walking now towards Vault. Nobody to be seen. Bullets again over his head. Beautiful shot on the Fultz. Three kills is all Fultz will be able to get. Using the soft destruction, PSK scouts the area. Timer continuing to tick down. 35 seconds for Space Station. PSK regrouping. Maybe some calls from the rest of his teammates, but great patience as we talked about discipline from Space Station, not giving an inch. They've got 20 seconds until things hit the point of no return, so you'll have to get in. And there's the Nomad to do that. Try and distract away. PSK's attention is over towards Study, but he gets outdueled by Bosco. And even if the Montane isn't particularly pivotal, SSG's strat seems quite sound. And through that first half, SSG emerges with a 4-2. are upstairs, except for Palu, who's inside of Jungle, who could strike at any moment. Moment, but SSG are holding all the injury points for the bomb side, ensuring that nobody creeps in without being noticed. Close range for Space Station, 20 seconds left to go into the round, that's it. Jiggle peeking through the door, Ask is in the middle of the bomb site, picked apart by Skies, hugging this bomb chassis. Alda in hand means he's got tons of munition for Nesk. Nesk is next, by the way, as Palu trades off. The shotgun from Fultz as he retakes the site, Nesk ever so formidable, but two more to go in three seconds. Seems unthinkable unless they give themselves away. Games. 
Does he know that Nesk is watching this angle? If he crosses the doorway looking the wrong way, Nesk will capitalize, but there are few people who can outduel Nesk. Skies tends to be one of them. Rotero Drone goes in, flushes out Skies, resets, capitalizes on the kill. Liquid up in a 3v2 with 30 seconds left to play in this round. Rampy equalizes, making it a 2v2, case down. Call going out to Bosco. One Toxic Babe still left, and he's got the shotgun to do maximum damage. The scramble from Liquid is they will head into the bomb site, but they have to grab access to the diffuser, lest they just go for kills. PSK downing Bosco and finishing him off means Rampy in a clutch position. He can put his team right now on match point. He's got the entry, swings away, but resets is prepared for it. The timeout works. The unconventional 4 SSG is unsuccessful. You do if you slap the mirror window on there, of course. The wall has not been oh, dealt with. Oh, no. Yes. Finds Bosco. It's not the smoke off the board. Remember, SSG had a roll swap, but Paolo continues the trend. Unbelievable play by Liquid. Well coordinated. And again, SSG almost seeming like NPCs when Liquid walks on in, taking advantage of them. And okay, one. you blink and it's gone. This has to prompt a space station time spotted. Assuming that somebody's playing off of it, it'll blow up. But at very minimum, they should be able to get the panel, allowing a window into the bomb site. Smoke's going off. It'll obscure the vision of space station as Nesk walks in. He's got killing potential, but he's also got that diffuser in hand, and he watches a nitro cell get chucked over his head. By the model, he'll go for a plant, but Bosco's doing his best. He guns down Palu, trying to take back control of study. Nesk is exposed in that oh angle, goodness. but he's gonna see him, and Nesk just sprints right in and takes him down. Two kills for Nesk while also getting the diffuser planted. He cannot outduel Hot and Cold as he peeks around the door frame. Hot and Cold stands steady, resolute inside of the middle of the bomb site. Waiting to see what the smoke can do as resets. He's gonna take some damage and breathe in that toxic canister as he backs up. On the diffuser is Hot and Cold. Liquid need to be quick. They don't have the intel that Hot and Cold is on it, oh. and his team buys enough time. The Disable comes in, and it's match point for space canisters. Logic Bomb comes in. It's the last one from Ask. Fultz and Bosco both very restless. They don't know where this is gonna come from. They need to be primed and ready, no matter the position. 20 seconds. Liquid taking their time. Hopping on in, they see him. Oh no, Fultz, you're looking the wrong way. Bosco with one, but he walks right into Paulu. And Liquid's attacks are terrifying. Ready for this. Look at this as Paulo creeps up the staircase. He'll see the Malusi. Bosco takes the fight to him, but Paulu is so hard to beat. Bosco will be frustrated with that. Bosco struggling to buy a kill in this particular matchup. We'll see if his stats improve throughout overtime and into map number two. Either way, Space Station trails, and Hot and Cold is the next one in the line of fire. 15 seconds left. You'd think there was plenty of time to go, but it doesn't favor Liquid at all. Despite that, they're still making it their own. Rampy's trying to catch them off guard on a flank. He capitalizes. Two big kills for him. He needs to play keep away with resets down and vulnerable. He can't beat Nesk. Who can? And suddenly... Space Station on match point, but now in overtime, it's Liquid's matchup to lose. Some of the entrance into Memorial, preventing Space Station from getting in to get a plant down towards Kitchen. Skies is holding on to that diffuser, and he is exactly by the Memorial window. Yep. What will he do? 30 seconds to go. Calm before the storm. Match on the line for Space Station. They know how critical it is that they win their own map. They did it yesterday in 15 rounds against FaZe. They're looking to do the same, but what a shot that is to take out Hot and Cold. Resets falls next. Both teams trade one back and forth. Shotgun in hand for Ask. He drops Rampy. They walk right on in. A vault in now as Bosco picks up another kill. Fultz with one to his name, but the diffuser needs to go down. Five seconds. The diffuser must get planted, but it's been surrendered by none other than Nesk, who picks up two in order kills and liquid by a score of eight to six will take the map off of only the fifth defensive round victory they snatch space stations map away from them and set themselves up to close the deal on Oregon in his pocket, if you want to call it that. A nade in hand as well. Paulu with nades too, so there's destructive capabilities. Final EE1D will go and Ask is inside of the bomb site. A very early plant. 40 seconds to go and there doesn't seem to be any intel here as Fultz can't hit a shot to save his life. Resets with two big kills as the diffuser gets planted. Ultimate coverage for Liquid. So far, so good. And they've headed for the hills, by the way. Space Station has no idea where they seem to be. Taking the engagements, that's a lucky 
one for Skies. Back up the stairs he goes, but cannot out dual resets. It's a down. Nask resets in Palu with the Adrenal Surge wearing off. Waiting patiently at the top of Armory Stairs. It's all on Rampy, juggling around the corner with an SMG in hand. But this is a tough one to do, being chunked away at as Reset's looking to capitalize. He's dropped and downed by Rampy in MP5, but just like so many before him, and like SSG in the previous map, you cannot out-duel Nask when he's at peak performance. And round number one goes in favor of Sint. It also means that those two can openers are gone, but guess what's happening? Half of the round in, and Liquid is inside of the bomb site, reading into Space Station. Their every move being watched, and again, clinical being the word, almost flawless. If it wasn't for PSK getting killed earlier on, Liquid would have had nobody in the grave. 2-0. Station have at least kept them at bay, and Liquid have some stumbling blocks to overcome to get in. But oh my, never mind, I guess. Palu, Palu with three big kills. Pelucifer, the devil there himself, leaving Skies to possibly perish. Shield breaking in front of his eyes, and he's got to be thinking to himself, what the hell am I going to do now? Is there somebody by a big window? Am I turning my backside to where the diffuser is being planted? He sees a device explode at the top of White Stairs, so at least one is in that direction. He'll swing onto it and lose to Nesk. Two kills for Nesk, three for Palu. That's a full house. Liquid up three, nothing. This potential aggression at the bottom of the stairs. 35 seconds to go, and you have to move on over to that bottom floor bomb site, or rather, middle floor bomb site. I almost got caught up in the basement argument that you and I I had talking about, spoken about. Hot and cold through the wall, tries to track, but Palu finishes off what little is left, and now another one lined up very easily. Fultz walks into that. Rampy in a 1v4 with the diffuser planted by Ask. The post plant for Rampy is dire. Hopeless, one would even say. He watches through all those kill holes made by the sledge as they've reversed their positions, but the only quick way back to the bomb site is through the dropped hatch. As to what could lay on the other side of that wall, instead resets, takes the fight, and he wins. Again, Space Station just cannot do much with these gunfights. A mirror window stopping them from advancing, but Palu will innate it out. Right there, drop down, not enough damage being done to Skies. Foltz has fallen, so is Hot and Cold. SSG's numbers continue to dwindle. They'll retake from the back, but Bosco gets soft and up in a flawless round will happen unless Skies can get one. He will. On to Palu. Diffuser going down. As can stop for a second. Sky snapping through. Two kills. Three oh. kills. Skyry going for more than that. But the timer will now work against him. 40 seconds. Skies pausing for a moment. Take a deep breath. Still sitting on top of the diffuser is Ask. I don't know if Skies is prepared for this. Tracers go over and he at least knows someone is in the vicinity. There's backup for Liquid on the PSK. Instead, Skies will aim. He knows they're exactly there, but luck runs out after three kills. A valiant effort from Skies falls just short. Liquid continue their streak of dominance. They're up five now in terms of access and line of sight with that toxic canister. PSK tussling, but re-engaging with the shotgun. Skies wins that one. The numbers for Team Liquid will now dwindle even more. Space Station holding that upper hand, looking for their very first round. They called a timeout and it didn't really work, but they're hoping to salvage something. Bosco, a bit of a sloppy endeavor against resets, but he walks away with it quite well. Palu sees the Nitro Cell go off in front of him. He's dropped the diffuser, and I think he'll throw up his hands <laughs> and realize that this round is a losing effort. Finally, the brakes on the train of Liquid seem to be engaged ever so slightly as Space Station makes their mark at the final second and get on to the First board. round of go in. There'll be a blinding effect. More to come, surely. Han Cold's actually used all of them already, so they haven't happened in the cut and thrust. But the nade goes in and it's cleared the way. Rampy and Hot and Cold credited with all these kills. And how about a statement round from Space Station? Rampy's very happy about that. A flawless start to the second half for SSG. Pushing up, will try to do what he can with the head, but cannot connect. He'll still play off with the deployable shield. Rampy taken out by the Vector Apollo in hand. More Candela's going off. Hot and cold firmly in the middle of the bomb site, rushing up, but they don't know that Palu's still playing on the same angle. He drops him, resets down on elbow. Playing through that soft wall, Palu will search for another kill. Nesk and Palu, the last two up. You can never count them out. These two tend to work wonders when working side by side. But there goes Nesk on a nice shot from Bosco. Palu searching for one on the Bosco. Oh, Gets it! Stops him! But Fultz saves the round. Remarkable stuff from Space Station. Were it not for Fultz, that's it for Liquid. And they go to match point. But instead, Space Station find their third in a row. Maybe he has a nade ready, but he gets swung on while he throws it out. Candela's going off too. Bosco hunting shadows 
on the back of Tower Stairs. One for Skies, he leads things off, swiftly answered by PSK. One for Rampy as well, as SSG continue to go. 20 seconds left. Skies at the halfway point with the round, as he's got the diffuser down. PSK drops, but a literal drop from Fultz right into the waiting arms of Palu will leave Nesk upstairs all by his lonesome. Three players from SSG watching this diffuser. Nesk gets Ooh. one, Palu as well. It leaves Bosco in a clutch situation. He's still got the adrenal surge wearing off. Other than that, the diffuser is not too far away. Hiding at this angle. He's got a hard wall. He'll get swung by two players that both have low oh, HP, yeah. but Nesk is on the ground. The rat plays with the shotgun in hand. It breaks the streak of Space Station, and Team Liquid moved to series point. Being unsheathed by SSG and thrown with uh, maybe some reckless abandon into the bomb site. Palu's expecting a push from the bottom of Laundry Stairs. 30 seconds to go. First Candela, it gets grabbed by the Magnet. Another Candela gets tossed. Hot and cold has one more to go. It gets tossed out as well. Smokes go. C4 from Palu does not connect. Sky sprinting into the bomb site. Rampy the greeted smoke. with Ask. The smokes are there, but Palu is doing a significant amount of damage. Sky's with the kill immediately onto the diffuser. Nesk will try to stop the rest of the team. Can't do it through the soft wall, so it's on the resets. Take down Hot and Cold. Diffuser planted in its maximum chaos inside of the bomb site. PSK, a nice shot on Bosco. One HP for Fultz. So Sky's also very, very low. Everybody is low except for resets. Flores sitting far back, watching the side of Sky's. A nice kill on the PSK, but it's all on the shoulders of Fultz to clutch the round and keep his team in it, to keep his team alive. Liquid can sit on the diffuser. That's what they'll do. Sky's or Fultz rotating. Resets at the halfway mark. Where are you, the drops. You need to get to it, but Ness greets him. Seals the deal. Liquid win the matchup just like that. That Villa was close, Oregon not so, and Liquid do what FaZe couldn't topple SSG, and Liquid remain undefeated.